Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Worcester County Murders Podcast, Episode 8. I'm your host, Kevin Knightley, here with uh, my, my, my comrade and uh, your co-host, Mr. Controversial, uh, Mr. Devil's Advocate, Liam Marr. Hey, what's going uh, on, everybody? I'm happy to be here. Kevin, how are Liam, you doing? Good. If, if you don't mind, I want to start off on a bit of a serious note. I can't see what uh, I can do at this point anyway. So go on. So as we all know, a terrible thing happened in our country on January 6th. Um, it, it was very disturbing. I don't know if our country can ever recover for something like this. Um, and I don't believe that these people understand the repercussions of their actions. <laughs> Kim Kardashian and Kanye West are getting a divorce, ladies and gentlemen. How are we sus supposed to go on as a country without our leaders, our thought leaders, where, where are we supposed to get our moral compass, Liam, without these two influencers? Kanye might be our president in four years. Sure. And he, he, and he doesn't have his best friend, his partner in life, as his first lady. How do, how do you think the country is, is going to deal well, with, we're gonna, the, we're with gonna, this we're type of tragedy? We're going to have to pick a side. We're going to have to pick one of them and throw the other one to the wolves. Well, I think the choice is obvious, isn't it? I think it's obvious to everyone differently. You know? Who are you taking sides with? Out of Kim or Kanye? Hmm. I'm a probably just personal personal choice right like i guess well, whose else would it be yeah no no i know just because like in my life who out of the two of them who has directed directly impacted me more significantly would probably be kanye mm. but um yeah i i don't know kim kardashian she's out here doing amazing things like getting people out of prison amazing so, yeah she could yeah. be the next Hillary Clinton. She would be way better than Hillary Clinton. She'd be way more successful, probably way more like, uh, I mean, I think that would be hard to do. She, um, cause that's Hillary Clinton. Yeah. She's, can you get a more powerful just, woman than Hillary Clinton? I don't know if you can get a better loser. Than Kamala, Kamala Harris might be a close cop at this point, but we still know who the real hero is. Hillary lost to Donald Trump when it was like. Well, you, know. you see, it was it was a fraud. The Russians hacked the election. They hacked into the voting machines. They hacked into the voting machines so that we could have some pretty sweet tweets the last four years. Yeah, I think Twitter's. Uh, speaking of Twitter, I think the the age of Twitter is over. Absolutely not. I mean, you know, I, I think, um, I, you all know, right. the, the past, the next couple of weeks and all, obviously the past um, year has been crazy with the, uh, with, with the, with the, uh, the what have you's in the, in the virtue signaling and, and the cancel culture and, um, you know, I, I think that thing. should dwindle down with uh, with Uncle Joe. Okay. Taking the reins. Uncle Joe. You mean Biden? Joe Biden. He's my second favorite Biden. Oh, you like you like the Hunster? I, I'm a big Hunster guy. I also he, no, I also like the wife too. She seems very. very I don't nice. know much about the wife. Well, you should Google her. Figure it out. Wait, what, what, what are her? Uh, What's her highlights? Yeah, let's not talk about the boring, by you know, the boring, you know, the president's wife. Okay, on a podcast, we're not doing it. 
Okay. Is she hot? Uh, bro, listen. Why are you asking me these questions, man? These are the important questions, Liam. Why are you dodging them? I'm not dodging these questions, dude. I don't feel comfortable commenting on the leader of our country's wife. I just haven't seen a picture. Well, Google it on your own time and make your own impression. No matter what I say, you're going to go We're in gonna there pull, with the, We'll pull her up. What's her first name? So what value is my input at all? Huh? What's her first name? Joe uh, Biden. Joe, like they can yeah, still. What's up with people with the same letter coming together for the first name? Jill and Joe, give me a break. We don't need alliteration marriages. I think that's as solid a foundation as anything else. Jill, yeah, she doesn't look bad. She looks she looks good. She's only 69. How old is Joe? Like 82? I don't, I don't know. I'm pretty sure he's he's up there though. Damn. He did okay for himself. I bet. He's uh, I bet 20, 30 years ago, she would have been a total babe. Let's see. Yeah. When, when did they get married? I don't know. We, we probably can't joke about young Joe Biden anymore because he's the supreme leader. And we're already... young Joe? Well, not yet. And under false pretenses, by the way. Trump was robbed. Trump more than robbed he was ass fucked wow um you know i you know i don't care about facts liam i don't i just i say uh i give i give hot takes that's what i do what do you think about uh the seizure of the capitol building oh i i think it was a long time coming um i don't i don't know if it was for the right reasons uh, this is the Worcester County Murders episode eight. Still, I'm one of your hosts, Liam Marr. Alongside yeah, we already did the introductions, fuckface. Kevin, but now it's part two. So, all right, it's all going on one episode. Yeah, but to us, it's part. Well, two. no, you know, do you think it would be good to like do a part one, part two? Well, no, how long was that first or... one? That was only like five minutes. Yeah, probably tops five minutes. All right. Well, we'll figure it out later. I don't know how to read. Um, so Alex Jones has claimed that he put up to a half a million dollars to mount the uh, the coup, right? The insurrection, correct. Is am I not using is coup and I don't know. Uh, You're using it a lot. An in, I don't know. Inaccurate it's term. An I hear it a lot. If it was an insurrection attempt, perhaps. Oh, is insurrection only applied to like successful overthrows? I don't know. I don't even know if the what insurrection in verbiage means per se. I, I believe it means to like remove someone from power with violence. But so I don't know. Yeah, it sounds like it would fit. If it was an attempt at removing. The liberals from power being Biden and Kamala. Right. Maybe well, it's right though, but we're making things up. I don't know for sure. And I, I don't know if there's a way for me to ever figure it out. So I'm never gonna figure it out. Well what do you what do you think about Alex Jones claiming responsibility? He said he uh, I'm reading a New York Post article. I think it's the bravest thing he's ever done. So so let me just read you what it says real quick. Alex Jones claims he put up to nearly $500,000 to mount President Trump's disastrous speech Wednesday in Washington, D.C. Uh, definitely not biased at all. And uh, was asked by the White House to lead subsequent march that developed into a riotous siege of the Capitol Hill. Uh, quote, no one would book the yellow No one would book any other. We can skip that. Uh, and Jones said, thank God a donor came in and paid like 80% of it, he went on, because it costs close to half a million dollars with all the equipment, all the stages, and the rest of it, porta potties, you name it. Um, Jones did not name the anonymous benefactor, but he did shed light on the initial plan to have the Secret it Service was. escort Jones through the gathered Trump supporters so he could head 
a procession to the Capitol. So he's got the Secret Service on his side. Obviously. Apparently, according, according to um, this liberal news outlet. Now, are they trying to turn us... First, they try to turn us against the cops. Are they trying to turn us against Secret Service men and women? Secret Service men are the best cops. So if we're not it's supposed like to like cops, we should hate them the most. Yeah. From my understanding, I don't well, know a lot. What, what, what does Jones have to gain from this? Because I, I, I didn't even think he was like that big of a Trump guy. Uh, jo- Jones has been kind of on a spiral, from my understanding, public life. Things could be going negative. Oh, you know how? You know when, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. That was a good. That That's was a, a good moment for him. It's a good accomplishment. But like, yeah, the government, or not the government, but you know, he's been very limited in the ways he can make money because he's been deplatformed. So his company is probably a lot less successful than it used to be. But he still tries to do what he tries to do, respectively. I, I would, I, my, I would add. But he said some terrible things, you know. He's well. The the Sandy know. the Sandy Hook thing was a rough pretty look, bad, but rough look. Yeah. You know, not pretending to know a lot about much at all, but he he has he has been right about some things, right? Oh I, yeah, and I love him for the stuff he's been right about. I think what has he been right about that you know of? Um, the, uh, there's a really amazing uh, piece of documentarian work that he produced. Uh, Oh, the be- Bohemian Grove. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snuck yeah. In Grove. That's no, they talked that's about that bonkers. on Rogan. Yeah, yeah. that's just bonkers. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, he infiltrated it, right? Yeah. yeah. He like he just snuck into the woods with them, and they were like, "Hey, can I?" F-? <laughs> People were like, "Can I fuck you in the ass, Alex?" And he was like, uh, "No," but he got a lot of info. Did and, and you know, I'm not pretending I know a whole lot about the Bohemian Grove, but it. What do they? It, is it rumors that they might be sacrificing children? Every Republican president besides Trump since Eisenhower has been a member of the Bohemian Grove, I believe. There are well every Republican since Trump president. Yeah, besides wow. Trump since Eisenhower since like 1945, I think mm-hmm. uh, has been a member of the Bohemian Grove. So it's like very influential right wing, you know. Maybe right wing. I mean, it's you know, or Republican president. Well, is it like right wing exclusive, or are they powerful? It's like well, exclusive, you know. And right you know, at that point, what is politics really? People are just just antsy, people with power, so, yeah, money, fucking their siblings and stuff. But uh, well, you know, that makes them more relatable on some levels. Some people, yeah, I've seen For, those statistics, especially with the with the base there. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I think storming the Capitol is pretty bad overall. It's a bad look. I think we look like, uh, you know, China wouldn't let this happen. China's got their shit under control. China would Um, not have let that happen. No. I mean, those people are afraid for their lives. We're not afraid for our lives from our government. And, And the storming of the Capitol is a a perfect example of that a, a, a bunch of a, a bunch of maga hat wearing psychopaths think they can hey, d- breach voters they're voters <laughs> they're voters they're americans uh they tried to breach <laughs> into the did you see the video of the bitch getting shot in the neck no i didn't dude I didn't it is insane maybe it's disrespectful to call her that bitch but how's the video is it sweet did she have yeah color? it's Man, it's damn, like disturbing happen? So like it's like a bunch of people screaming and trying to break all these windows to the doors where these congressmen, like James P. McGovern, was was in the Congress room with oh, the wow. secret with with the Secret Service, and they're all like smashing the glass to the door trying to get in, and then uh, and then so there's there's like literally three police officers guarding the door, and then. Um, and then they're like, okay. And then they and then they just leave um, to let them start like breaking shit even more. But I guess the reason they left is because there were like tactical police officers coming in, so they just got out of the way. Sure. And um, and so this this bitch named Ashley with an I, which 
we'll get to that later. But she, yeah, total whore. She Whoa, um she, she started respect. like to actually breach and like try to step through into that room or something like that. And then the secret serviceman shot her in the neck and she died. But it but but it was just like a bunch of people that like thought nothing was gonna happen to them, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like there, there's, there, it is a there's guns that, pointed at happened. them and they're yeah. still smashing, breaking into shit into into the into the room, and they don't expect that you know, maybe someone's going to get shot. They, they never thought that that was going to happen. And there's a guy in the video saying he's got a gun. He's got a gun. He's got a gun. And still these fucking psychos are trying to get into the room. And I don't know what they expected to do. I know there was a guy with uh, the fucking the zip ties, right. To hold hostages. Yeah. Yeah. That would have been, that would have been something. We had a standoff in the Capitol. And listen, I'm not I'm not saying that the the capital doesn't deserve to be stormed. Mm-hmm. I but I just think to... it was probably for the wrong reasons. Like these the, Well, the, one man's the, wrong reasons is another man's only reason. Those 300 people that work in that building uh they they uh deserve we deserve answers from them. And they should probably all, at the very least, be in jail. Yeah, for sure. I know you agree with that. Yeah, I, you know, the guillotine is a simple machine, but it's perfect. No, it sends a message. Yeah, and I'm always down for a good. I just gotta make, you know, we just gotta all agree. You know, we all gotta be coming together. It's gotta be a communal beheading. Like. You know, and I think a problem with a lot of the libs is that is that they um it's that they type they, exactly they don't that admit type of in, 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 in verbiage that got us in this mess in the first place, Kevin. I I guess so, but I mean, you you do have to there. There's people with different I, ideologies, and you have to put names on them. So the people that were anti the siege, I guess, have to admit, and if they're not, they're just not being honest that the people in Congress are a bunch of criminals. Sure. You know, and they probably deserve at the very, very least to to uh, be voted out. Sure. And, I got some uh, and, and fucked in the street. Yeah, I don't know how to transition from that. You want them to? Be well, you don't street. have to transition from it. It's just the way it is, you know. And and once Kanye in four, when we we're gonna get Kanye in four years. He's gonna have to run Republican to uh, defeat Kamala Harris, who uh, is probably gonna overtake within the first couple of years of Joe's Joe's reign. Help. Um, and and then and then and then once that happens, we can start throwing people in jail. Once Kamala comes up, I feel like we're getting like I'm I'm worried about further violence. You think that'll happen or what? Because mm. this isn't like an isolated thing. Like, there's some lunatic is like if, if that, that lunatic had a gun, you know what I mean? They would have killed a bunch of people. Yeah, energy, no, I'm okay. surprised not not more of those those dudes were packing heat, you know. Kind of like a pretty sad excuse for total. Like I'm saying, if they brought the zip ties, what's the plan there have, with the zip ties? They better, have, yeah. What were the plan with the zip ties? They probably would have needed guns to do anything with zip ties, to my assumption. Right. Where? What were the zip ties? Oh, zip still, ties. Yeah. Are, zip uh, my ties house is come... All right. Another uh, interruption by the Liam household. We're being, we're being swatted. Uh, it's an insurrection. Fuck. Insurrection. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, I'm gonna, we can, I think we can probably just leave it there because, uh, you know, I want to. Yeah, you know, I think we covered all the important topics. Yeah, yeah. For right now. It might be a short episode, but it's the episode that needs to happen right now. I can't. You My can't. Oh, well, yeah. you know, it, we, we, do, you, do you have any last points you want to get across? Uh, sure. Um, Trump was robbed. Tr- absolutely. Yeah. Um, that's about it. Fraudulent election. Thank you. This has been Worcester County Murders, Episode 8. Sure. We'll, catch, we'll catch you next week. Bye. I forgot I'm the one who has to hit stop recording.